Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to be planning with my new May Magical Monthly Mystery subscription and this one is called Yoda Best Dad and this is the Father's Day Star Wars kit. So stinking adorable. I'm in love with this kit so much. So I'm going to start off with the monthly. I'm going to do both the monthly and the weekly and we are going to uh, foil it up or do the whole nine yards. So this is for June and I'm using my Avalon and Ninth planner. I've only got June and July left in my Avalon and Ninth planner so I have like a little thing kind of propping up the back to make it a little more even so it's a little bit easier for me to um, put put my stickers down and then um, the other thing about the Avalon and Ninth so I try to make these as universal as possible so sometimes every once in a while you're gonna find that the monthly stickers may be a little bit larger or a little bit smaller than the boxes here like that big top box and that is why there is the glitter in there so you can put the glitter at the top at the bottom wherever you want to put it to try to fill out that gap um, if you're using like an Avalon and Ninth planner or maybe even a happy planner I know that my happy planner people will tell you where the gap are in the happy planner um, mostly the only one that I think this fits perfectly in without making any adjustments is a TPC planner so the TPC nation or the TPC nation hybrid both have the same monthly penny pages also has the same monthly because it's penny pages makes the TPC nation planner so if you got a penny plate Pity pages, seven by nine, any one of those, I believe those fit perfectly without doing any adjustments. Otherwise, you're going to have to make a, a few little adjustments here and there, which is why I added in the glitter um, so that you can fill in that gap at the bottom or the top, whichever way you want to do it. And then I'm just going to put down my numbers. Um, there's not a lot for me to do in this because this is June, so we are, it is two months ahead, but I really wanted to show this kit in action before it goes out there to um, subscribe to because I wanted you guys to see how it lays down how it looks how the foil looks the whole the whole thing before it actually goes available for subscription so if you were on the fence or you were wondering how it would look or how it would lay down in your planner you have something to look at so right now I'm just kind of figuring out without boring you with all of putting down the numbers right away where the first day of the month is where the last day of the month is so I could put those two extra boxes so the one with the drinks in it is the extra box that came out of the top so you know on my monthly planners I have it set where one of your top bars there comes apart so on either side one or the other depending on which side of the planner your sidebar is on you just take that box out and then your sidebar fits in that side and then you can take that extra box, it still has a um, picture in it, and you can set it in one of your empty boxes from when you put all of your date dots down. There's always a couple of extra boxes here and there. Or you can use them someplace else in another planner if you wanted to, because they're kind of like the perfect size for a B6 planner, which is what I'm going to be doing with all of my leftovers from this kit, is I'm going to be setting up an entire week in my B6, and I'm going to have foil on it because I have extra foil left over too. So my B6 is going to be totally fabulous along with my my 7 by 9 planner so I'm really really excited and my b6 planner is also I made myself because I don't carry them in the shop but if it is something that you guys would like to see in the future me I do make my own b6 monthlies so if that's something that you guys are interested in I can um, definitely put those over into the Etsy shop not necessarily with this artwork because this is exclusive to the subs but I do have b6 um, monthlies that I make for my own planner. So if you think that's something that you guys would like for your B6, um, I can definitely start putting some of those over in the Etsy shop. But I did cheat. I made myself a B6 monthly with this artwork for me. So <laughs> I'm totally going to match. It's totally going to match. So now I'm going to start laying everything down. And this time um, I wanted to do, so because I want to use some of this in my B6 and I want to use some of it here, I'm putting down the washi that I want to use, which is my actual washi rolls, or what I'm going to use for the washi in this one, and I'm going to save the other washi, the big orange one, for my B6 planner, so that way I can kind of spread the kit out a bit, and having the washi rolls in this one helps out a lot, because then, you know, I can use that as my bottom washi in the planner, and I can use the other body washi in the other one. Anyway, you'll see. So I'm just going to start out by putting all my date dots down, and my date covers, and all that good stuff. I'm going to be foiling as I go. So I decided this time I wanted artwork all the way across the top. I'm going to use the skinny washi and then I'm just going to lay out my weeks. And because I'm using 
I just couldn't help it. <laughs> Once I saw how the foil looked when I put down all the bougie boxes at the bottom, I just didn't want to cover every inch of my planner like I usually do. Normally I do like no white space and I've got stuff everywhere and there's very little space in between, but this time I really didn't want to do that. And since this planner is more like a decorative planner, which somebody somebody that had commented on one of my other um, videos totally I, I get that. I love that idea to have one that's a decorative planner that I can use to put down just a couple little fun memories like my favorite things or whatever from each day, but not need to have a ton of space to journal because I do have other planners that I use where I can have a lot more space to write out what I need to write out. So this one is going to be more of like my decorative one that I'm going to be using where I put down a ton of stickers and foil and just everything that just makes me happy. Put a couple of fond memories from each day of the week in there and then leave it at that. Not really do a ton of planning planning. There's a ton of repetitive planning in my monthlies because that way whatever planner is around me, I can just throw it open and I can see everything that's going on in a hurry without me having to find the right planner with all the stuff in it. So there is a lot of repetitive stuff in the monthlies section of each one of my planners, but the weekly sections are very, very different. Some of them are strictly like PR stuff and social media stuff, which is my B6. And then others are memory keeping, which is all my Coco Daisy stuff, which is more like journaling and daily things that I want to try to keep track of and remember. And then my... Um, TPC Nation Planner, that is the one that I use for like daily shop stuff, household stuff, that kind of thing. That's where the bulk of what my like life information goes in my TPC Planner. So that is, it seems weird to have so many planners, but when you're a shop owner, you need to have separation between all of your shop nonsense and your house nonsense and your work. Because I also work full time as well. So you have to keep those things kind of separated or everything becomes a big jumble. So I love how the boozy bougie I can't even say it underlay how about that how about we just say underlay love the way the underlay looks it is so stinking beautiful and so sparkly I love the stars in there that just kind of brings it all out and then having that sparkly hollow star pattern foil on there is just absolutely stunning it's just stunning and that's the videos never do it justice because I have these really harsh lights and um, the harsh lights sometimes can kind of drown out how pretty the foil is but when you guys get yours if you've ordered it or if it's something you know, if you're already a subscriber, you're getting it. If you're not, it's going to be, it, it should already be available for you to order if it's something that you're interested in. Um, when you get yours, you're just going to be like, you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. It's so, so pretty. I decided to, because I'm using the washi, and I didn't know if I wanted to cover up my Stormtrooper faces because I love them. I love that white and black Stormtrooper faces on the underwashi there. So I decided not to put any of the foiled washi under it, but I am going to use the foiled washi cover strips, whatever you want to call them, overlays in my B6. I won't be putting them, I'm going to put them like separate so that it's going to be like its own washi without it being on top of something else, which is the way Brandy, one of my PR girls, Brandy, if you haven't seen her channel, she uses, she does that a lot. So she'll do just those washi overlays instead of overlaying her washi strips, she will just lay it down by itself and it looks stunning. It looks really good because it just with that white background behind it. And if you have a planner that doesn't have stripes, it's better to, when you're putting that stuff down, if it's just blank underneath, because then it, you don't see, you know, all the lines underneath when you're just putting it down by itself, because it is a clear, a clear paper, but it still, it still looks fantastic. So now I'm just going to start laying down all these boxes. The big boxes um, that don't have anything in the middle are where I like to put, I was going to try to fix this because I had it totally offset, but I couldn't do it. And then I just ripped it. So then I was like, nope, I'm just going to leave it alone. It doesn't matter if it's offset a little bit. Who cares? It's my planner. <laughs> it just irritates me when I put them down and they're obviously like offset like that. It just, I try to pull them back up. Anyway, back to the thing. So that box right there in the middle that has nothing in it right underneath today, those are the boxes that I like to put the um, like quote overlays, foil overlays, or like the little picture of foil overlays. I like to put those in those boxes because I think it just makes them pop and it's a good place to put them so if you're doing like a decorative planner like I'm doing right here you can use those there or you can sub out 
you could totally make this kit last for more than one week if you wanted to use those as your boxes up on the top and put the foil overlays in them and then you can spread out your artwork to go through like a couple of weeks rather than just one um, there's like a ton of things that you can do to because I give you a lot I, I know I give you a lot a lot of people say that I give you a lot <laughs> but I do because I want you to have a lot of options and you don't have to feel compelled to use every single piece in, in just one spread you can totally spread these out and then I do give you a lot of plain solid colored stuff that you can put in your stash to pull into other spreads that may match the same colors or you can hang on to them if if you have this kit and you want to hang on to your extras and then when they come, when this whole thing comes available later in, you know, in the vault sales, if you want to just kind of combine kits and make it go even further, you can do that too. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to keep putting down all my boxes. I love the way this looks. So I have the little paint swatches and I'm, I don't like having box, 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 box. I like having things to be like a little bit different. So that's why you'll see me put the doodle boxes in there and then the different paint swatches just to kind of break it up. The circle doodle. <laughs> I love, so, I don't know why I love the word doodle, <laughs> but the little circle doodle box, that one, it just like breaks it all up. And then I wanted to make sure for Sunday because Sunday's Father's Day that I had one of the big blank boxes there, the big full size box, so that I could put the um, Dadalorian overlay in it because I wanted that to be on Father's Day. So Dadalorian is going to go right there and it's going to look fantastic. And then, like I said, though, I don't really have a ton of stuff to put in here yet. There's only certain things that I know of, like which was my work days, and I put those down. I already know ahead. Of, I know a year in advance as long as I don't change shifts. I know my schedule. So I know I work Wednesday and Thursday, the week of Father's Day. And um, so cool. Uh, I just realized I actually have it off this year. I don't think I've had a Mother's Day or a Father's Day off in years. I'm pretty sure I'm working on Mother's Day, so that's kind of a bummer. I'm going to pull out my highlight of the days. Those are from Caffeine Queens. I always have to have one in every spread because I need at least one box in here that just says my favorite thing that happened, whether it's of the week or the day. I did buy some highlight of the weeks from Jen. Um, I just happened to grab the wrong one, but that's okay. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I like it anyway. And then some of like the businessy type stuff at the bottom. And then I wanted to finish it off with another glitter and then another another foil overlay. So I think it looks fantastic. I love how the washies match like the glitter overlays. Everything matches. And then again, like I said, I wanted Dadalorian over there. And I read this quote when I did the when I did the um, reveal video, so, and I can't see it. Wait a minute, if I grab my planner, I can read it to you. If you missed, there's my planner. If you missed the um, the reveal video, it, so it says, Dadalorian, noun, like a dad, just way cooler. See also, handsome and exceptional. So I thought that was perfect to go on Father's Day. And then I'm just gonna start putting all of the foil overlays on each one of the artwork days. I don't usually like to do this when I have like really cool busy artwork because I like to see the artwork but I really wanted to see the foil and even though it looks kind of funny because my my lights are washing things out right now it is I have it in front of me and it is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful without those harsh lights on it making everything reflective it is just absolutely stunning I really really like it Yep, I actually can't wait to plan in this week. I'm looking at it <laughs> as, as, um, as I'm voicing this over, I'm staring at my actual planner. So I'm gonna use the actual foil numbers this time. Sometimes I use the other ones, it just depends on my mood. Today I'm gonna use the foil ones because I can't help it. And then there's just like a couple of little things that I can put down, like my weekend banner, I can put that down. And then um, like the binge watching laundry, like those things, are, it really doesn't change the like the Mondays I always put down the movie marquee because Mondays is usually when um, my husband and I watch UFC because we work on the weekends when it goes when it's actually on live so we'll watch the replay on Mondays when we're off because we're off every Monday and then I always do laundry the day before we go back to work and since I work on Wednesday that's pretty much the only things I absolutely know what I'm doing that week so now I'm just going to put down some of the deco foil deco on here because I have to <laughs> the ATAT -AT, and then the symbols and yeah this is what I have left over I have a ton of stuff so my b6 is going to be 
glorious. I almost said a bad word. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's going to be glorious. Got my washi, got everything. I hope you guys really like this. I think it came out stunning. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, for checking this out, and I will have the subscription site linked below for you if you're interested. It will be available um, to sign up for until the 10th of May. Anyway, so I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you real, real soon. Bye-bye.